Hey guys, Roman and Reaper here, back with a quick little review. So I just got done watching The Adam Project on Netflix. This is the latest film from Sean Levy. And another collaboration between him and Ryan Reynolds after, of course, Free Guy last year. That film was such an unexpected delight. I really enjoyed it. So, of course, I would, I was going to watch this. So, yeah. I hope that, you know, this will combine the, a high concept premise with plenty of heart, humour, in a very intelligent way, similarly to what Free Guy did. And uh, right off the bat, I'll say this film is not quite as intelligent as Free Guy is. That being said, though, its heart is fully in the right place and it delivers tons of, tons of laughs. It, the jokes caught by at a, a decent rate here. All delivered wonderfully by Ryan Reynolds. You know, someday I'm probably going to get tired of his stick, but it works, so keep doing it. You know, over, overall, it, this film is... It's really fun. But, as I mentioned, it is very funny. Ryan Reynolds playing Ryan Reynolds. It's not just him playing Ryan Reynolds, though. There's a younger actor who plays the child version of Reynolds' character, Adam. He nails the stick. Uh, although, there are a couple scenes where he gets a bit annoying because of how, just how much he nails it. Like he just, there's some scenes where he just does not stop talking. Uh, and you're just thinking, kid, shut up. But... Also, in terms of laughs, Mark Ruffalo, I, I think he's the, the other highlight of the cast here. Like, he is, he is very funny as well. But, and he also delivered some genuinely touching, heartfelt scenes. And that, I think, plays to this film's biggest strength. It is very funny, constantly throughout. But it's also, in amongst the laughs, genuinely pretty touching stuff. But, as we see Adam trying to reconcile his past. And Sean Levy just has a bit of a natural touch for finding smaller, intimate human moments in amongst big genre spectacle. And the comedy and the tragedy never feel intrusive, and the film balances them out pretty well. You know, allowing the more emotional moments to stick with you. Oh, and this there's also very entertaining action set pieces. Like as you'd expect, you know, there's plenty of genre licks and special effects and and fun fight scenes. That, you know, there's there's really fun fight scenes with Adam where he uses like these futuristic weapons, and there's one really entertaining scene and. <laughs> in Adam's back garden where Adam's younger self witnesses his future self and his wife played by Zoe Saldana <laughs> uh, <laughs> who just absolutely who just, is just a bit of a badass in this film <laughs> yeah this film you know another thing this film is it's also with the way it like handles its comedy genre genre licks and and heart it's almost got this kind of Amblin-esque tone to it like, like you'll understand when you watch the film it, it, it feels like a good fun old fashioned sci-fi action adventure film like, it delivers plenty of fun for a couple of hours, and you will absolutely be entertained by it. Although, I will say, plot wise, this is definitely, definitely stuff you have seen before. Like, so it's, and also, talking of generic, the villain. Oh boy. The villain here is very, very dull. Just a very typical 
corporate overlord type villain who just orders disposable henchmen around to their inevitable doom in the, in the fun fight scenes. <laughs> it's also, in, on a side note, uh, the villain in this film was played by Catherine Keener who voiced the predictable twist villain in Incredibles 2. <laughs> I, I should point that out. But, but yeah, overall... The Adam Project. You know, is it the most original thing you'll see this year? No. Is it plenty of fun with tons of great laughs and genuine heart to boot? Absolutely. You should give it a watch. You'll be very entertained by it. And I'm going to give The Adam Project a 7 out of 10. Also, just before we wrap this review up, yes, I did not see that reference coming. And yes, it made me laugh. If you've seen the film, you'll know exactly what I'm talking about. So yeah, those are my thoughts on The Adam Project. Let me know down in the comments. Have you seen it? And what did you think of it? And are you excited for any more collaborations between Ryan Reynolds and Sean Levy because obviously the news broke the other day that that Levy's going to be directing Deadpool 3 so I can see at least a few more collabs between the two happening don't forget the thumbs up button if you enjoyed don't forget the subscribe button if you're new and don't forget to turn on post notifications so you don't miss an upload <laughs> Yeah. <laughs>